So hello all. So in this video, I'm going to explain if you are preparing for an interview related to Angular, how you should prepare considering current market situation as everyone knows, like we don't have that much job openings like we used to have previously. Correct. So there are so many factors like how, what you need to consider before going for an interview, what preparation you should do. So I'm just going through all those things what steps you need to do, what things and topics you need to perfect more, what you can avoid if you are not strong in that topic. Correct? So now, uh, if, you, if we are targeting just for the Angular, so these are the various technology, right? So HTML, we should know, CSS, JavaScript. As Angu with Angular, we normally work with TypeScript. So TypeScript is also there, then Angular concept. If you are fresher or an expert, it doesn't matter. You at least should have worked on a project, one or two, may minimum. Then what is Jira? Then what is Agile development? These are the two extra things you should know. For fresher, it is optional, but for experience, it is mandatory. It doesn't matter your company is working with Agile and using Jira or not. You should know these things for experience, but for fresher, it is optional. Let's mark it optional over here and Agile also optional. But for Fresher also, it is good to have a knowledge like what is Jira and what is Agile development. Correct. Now, let's start with HTML. So I will be uh, comparing uh, for Fresher and the experience also. We are an Angular developer, right? But for even though we are an Angular developer, so HTML and CSS, because Angular is a front-end front -end science technology, not every company will have a UI developer which will uh, worked on only UI design. Some companies will have a UI developer, UI UX developer, who will just provide you the HTML ready. You just have to get that HTML and you just write the actual code. But not in every project or in, not in every company, they will have a UI developer. We only have to design the HTML and we only have to write the code also. Correct? So where do we get the UI developer? Suppose consider project is, let's say we have a project. which has responsiveness, responsive pages. So obviously as an Angular developer, we already have so many things to learn. So we cannot learn responsiveness also because it needs again so much topics and every knowledge we have to gain to check the responsiveness of the application. So consider like a project where responsiveness, responsive pages is also there. So there might be possibility that there will have a specific UI developer who will create the pages and then you will work on that pages created by them. Correct. But normally, uh, if we consider 80% application which are developed with Angular doesn't have, doesn't care about responsiveness because most of the applications we create are the admin applications. Responsiveness comes when we work, when we create a website. Correct. Now, so as a HTML developer, you should, as a fresher, you should know everything because if you are, if you are fresher means if you have just learned the language and you are occurring for the interview. So HTML, you should know all things, including responsiveness also. Plus bootstrap also, you should know. Or Tailwind or any other CSS program, at least one framework you should know. Correct. So in HTML, you should know all these things. When we are appearing, when you are appearing for the as a fresher, na, so they will start from the HTML, CSS, and everything because they need to know. Like, do you know the do you know HTML and CSS? Are you able to design the UI or not? They need to evaluate that also. Correct. For experience, also again same thing. You should know all the things. Plus, scenario base. Scenario-based designing, they will ask you, like, uh, they will ask you, like, well, I have a requirement like this. How will you design the form? What are your structure you will design? What structure you will design to a uh, particular page? They will just provide a scenario and they will ask you, like, how will you structure this page? Just to see what is your approach on a particular, let's say, a customer registration page is there and it will have around 20 to 30 fields. So they will ask you, like, how do you plan to design this structure? whether you go on a creating new page, whether you can uh, create a model pop-up and how you will divide the sections, correct? So this type of questions will come in the HTML. Obviously they will ask you like, uh, let me just go to interviews application side. Let's go to HTML. 
So you can see these are the normal question you will be getting asked when it is uh, when you are focusing for the HTML. Semantic element is the question. New form elements in the HTML5. Block level element, element, non semantic HTML5 features, like what are the HTML5 features we have. Correct? Then different between CSS. This will come. Like we have SAS, less CSS. When we should use this? This type of question you have to answer. Not in detail, but because you have so many things to ask in Angular and in JavaScript also. So they won't waste so much time to HTML. Just the basic knowledge they will check. This is for HTML. Correct. Then CSS. So for freshers also, they will ask so many things because again, it's just to evaluate that you know the CSS or not. So all things you need to prepare. Correct. Including those pseudo classes, before, after, all those kind of things they will ask you. They won't ask you like uh, what is LACE and SAS because it is not expected for fresher to learn the other CSS frameworks. Well. But CSS should be there. You should know the basic CSS. How you create class, how do you write inline CSS, correct? But for fresher also again, same thing. They won't go in detail, but they will check some of the things like display positions. Like what are the display options we have? Let's go to CSS. What is CSS box model? This is a common question they will ask. Then what are the media queries? They might ask you what are media queries. Although you are not going to make the uh, responsive application, but they will check your knowledge that do you know the uh, media queries or not. Then specificity, like if we have added inline style, ID selector, class, and which element, which CSS will execute first. Display positions, then visibility or display none. Then percentage unit, like what is the difference between RAM and EM unit. PX, CSS and CSS3, positions, static, relative folks. This is the most commonly asked. You don't skip this question. Every time when you are preparing, this question is really mandatory. Okay. What is SVG? What is the difference between padding and margin? There is a, obviously padding and margin we use for spacing, but there is a certain difference when you, when you should use padding and when you, you should use margin. Pseudo classes, before, after, link, visited, hover. Correct. Different type of selectors also they will use. So not they will they will not go into detail, but you need to prepare this kind of questions. This is about CSS. Then we come to JavaScript. So when it comes JavaScript is tricky. When you when you are when you are appearing as a fresher, they won't go in very detail like closure, advanced uh, prototype. Uh, again, so many things are there, right? Advanced topics. For a fresher, you just need to work on the basic things. Functions, for loop, if conditions, switch, do I. Correct? Then uh, ES6 feature. At least you should know like what are the ES6 feature. Correct? They won't go in so much detail like hosting, closure, they will ask. But even if you don't answer, they will, interviewer will allow you to, yeah, if you are a fresher, so it is not required that you should fully understand what is closure and what is hoisting. But other things, like basic things, what is, how do we write if condition, for loop, switch case, these things they will ask you. What are the different types of function, normal function, function which can accept parameter, function which can return a value. This type of thing they will ask you and you should answer those correctly. If you answer basic points clearly and if you don't answer the advanced question like hosting closure, then it is okay. But if you don't answer basic question also, then they will judge you. Okay. So only basic things you need to work. Like if fails, for loop, switch case, functions. Correct. So these are the basic thing you need to work. Then comes to experience. So if you are preparing, if you are an experienced guy, obviously they won't ask you this type of question. They will clearly jump from the, or, or your interview will start from JavaScript only just to break down your confidence. You might have also seen many interviewer will directly jump onto, onto the JavaScript. I also do the same thing just to break down the confidence of the candidate. I will start from the JavaScript. And first question I will ask like the hardest one, the prototype. It's not hard one. But you, everyone will feel frightened. Like, what is prototype? What, what I should tell, right? So, as an experience, keep in mind, interview is going to start mostly with JavaScript, correct? So, like, topics will be closures, hostings, prototype, 
then ES6 features, and so on. What are the advanced things you know? Arrow function, late cons difference, event delegation, event bubbling, event capturing. So many things are there. Okay. So if you refer this here, I have already created all those questions. So topic wise, I have added like functions, hosting, closure, prototype, call apply bind, map reduce, how to use map, how to use reduce, promise, ES6 features. So many things are there. Correct. So these all things you should prepare. If your JavaScript area is good now, then you don't need to worry about Angular also. Correct. Either any of the area you should be strong. If you are very strong in Angular now, doesn't matter if you are very weak in the JavaScript question. Because as an Angular developer, we don't use this concept in Ang Angular because we work with TypeScript. But they want to evaluate on the basic things. Like... Companies don't hire you for the Angular only. They will hire, hire, they will try to hire you as a front-end developer. Let's say currently project is with Angular. That project got over. And then next project is in React. So again, they are not going to hire a person for the React. If you know the JavaScript, their assumption is you will work on Angular and you will work, you will be working uh, that much fluently with React also because you know the JavaScript. And JavaScript is based for all the uh, front-end side libraries. So that is their uh that is the thing they have in mind when they are hiring so make sure your javascript con uh, concept is very strong then coming back to typescript so for fresher it is not again expected that you should know all the things is typescript but you should know what is typescript why use of typescript why we have to use typescript and all things just the basic, not in detail, but the basic. Again, for experience also, it is not needed to go into very deep because no one goes into deep in the TypeScript. Just they will ask you like, what is TypeScript? Why do we have to use TypeScript instead of JavaScript? Same thing like TypeScript tips, uh, TypeScript support, OOPS features. So what are the OOPS, OOPS features, TypeScript support? Correct. So this type of things, they will go if you are if you are going uh, for a, as an experienced developer. Correct. Now I'm... So if you have seen, I'm talking all the experience thing more than two years. So when we say about Angular now, if you are appearing as a two years or three years or four years or five years or even 10 years or eight years, basic questions are same. Because in Angular, we have limited topics. 12 to 13 topics are there. You just have to prepare those clearly. But as your experience goes now, they will ask you scenario-based question. Again, related to these 12 to 13 topics, but scenario-based, they will ask you. Correct? Right? So questions are not different for Angular. Questions are same. Limited kind of limited number of questions are there. So you just have to focus on them. Now coming back to Angular. So as a fresher, you need to be ready to answer all the basic topic. The question will be like, what is question? What is what is what is? What is component? What is directive? What is pipe? What is service? What is module? This kind of question you will be asked if you are appearing as a fresher. Correct? Now, while answering, you should be, remember, whenever whether it is a fresher or, or, or an experience, whenever you are answering for an interview, make sure you explain the code also. Like, you, you tell the theory, right? You need to inform the theory, like, what is component? Then you should explain... Why do we need to component? Why do we you why why we should use the component? If you are appearing for if you they ask you like what is custom pipe, you tell is like custom pipe means we create your own custom pipe with the own requirement. Then you should inform like we can use the command ng generate pipe, then you will get a transformation. Some type of code also you should explain. So interviewer will then get to know, like yes, theory is also there, but you have actually worked on also. So he will judge you like that. If you explain a little bit of code while answering any question, that will be very good. It will create a good express, good impression on the candidate. Okay. So again, for the pressure, the question will be simply like, what is, what is, what is. Now coming back to experience. Now question won't be, what is for you? They will ask you scenario-based question. Or have you created custom pipe? Have you created custom directive? Correct? Life cycle events of uh, component. And they won't ask you like, what is the use of NG on it and NG on changes. They will ask you, what is the purpose of NG after we win it? NG do check. Some advance. Because life cycle event, everyone is going to tell. But what is extra, you know. 
So just prepare ng on changes in which scenario you have to use ng on changes. In which scenario you have to use ng do check, ng after we win it, ng on destroy. What do we do in ng on destroy? For fresher, they won't ask ng on destroy. What is the purpose of ng destroy? But for experience, they will surely ask what is the purpose of ng on destroy lifecycle event? So make sure you prepare that. Let's see the question. Sorry, I could uh, just open it again. So if we go to Angular, and if we simply go to component, so see, again, view child. Then various, what are the various ways of component communication? How you can communicate to, with the different component? There are so many ways. Data binding, they won't ask, correct? Then decorator, they might ask. So these are the various questions you, again, need to prepare. Then let me just show you some of the advanced tree shaking. De uh, you know package.json, right? In that package.json, we have dependencies and div dependency. What are the difference between those packages? What is Angular Universal? What is virtual DOM? Resolvers, dynamic form creation. How do you create dynamic form? New features in currently we have 17, right? Again, in 17, so many new things are there. So you must prepare those. If you don't know in detail also, but at least you should know what are the new things in Angular 17. Everyone is asking that. Even though their project is not with Angular 17, they will surely go and ask what is Angular 17. Just to check like, are you aware about the new things are there or not? Angular elements, dynamic component, how do you create? Not in detail, but you should know how do you create a dynamic component. Encapsulation, shadow DOM, emulated, none, bootstrapping application, what are the various ways? Dependency injection tokens. What are the dependency injection tokens? What is zone? Change detection. What is change detection? How do we disable it? DSL. This is just a theoretical. How to, again, this is also a very common question. How do we secure Angular application? Everyone will, everyone, every interviewer will have a different set of answer to this question. So make sure you inform as many as ways you know, so some of already I have listed over here. What are the loading strategies? Eager loading, lazy loading, preloading. What are host listener? So these are all the advanced concepts. Pressure, you can ignore this question, but just to have a knowledge, it's very good. Okay. So in Angular, advanced topics plus scenario base. So you should be prepared with this. Then coming back to project. So normally when you interview start, they will ask you to introduce yourself, right? When introducing, you will tell them like, what are the technologies I know? What are they, what is the education from where I am? They, they are not so much concerned on that thing. They are more concerned on the project, like what project you have done. See, many people will put on the fake experience also. So the problem with fake experience, they will just uh, get a, experience certificate from any company and they will put it there. But they might not have worked on the actual project. But even though you are a fresher or experience or even if you are adding a fake experience, I will strongly suggest don't put on a fake experience. Ultimately, you will stuck somewhere. Even though you will get a job, if you don't have the knowledge, you cannot survive. Ultimately, you have to leave the company or company will fire you. Any In any scenario, you will get some problem you are going to face. So. But still, so many people are going to put on the fake experience. Make sure you have a very strong knowledge. There is no condition. Okay, You need to have a strong knowledge because you are showing the experience. So that kind of work you are going to get. Okay, Now, so when it comes to project, as a fresher, at least you should work on one project. Now, that project should cover at least basic crowd operation, Login thing, role, that login should have role, various CRUD like model pop-up, uh, page with navigation, this kind of thing you should work. Uh, just select a project which should, which should be like, just get it. Select a project which will have all, which in that project it will have all the scenarios, like it should have a login, uh, dependent dropdown should be there, correct? If we select state, 
in the side drop down you should get the selected state district just kind of scenario uh, you can go for the e-commerce application also you can go for the employee registration app also so many scenarios are there just select just create one project but that project should be very uh, clear when you uh, when you explain it to the interviewer it should not be very complicated that indoor you uh, doesn't matter what in which manner you are explaining that he is not understanding what is your project so explain the project very clearly he should understand what the project is and what if if you are fresher he knows like all the uh, all the work is done by you only correct so you should know all the modules what modules were there correct then as a experience so obviously as an experience uh, if you have one or two companies you have mentioned so you need to you don't need to explain all the project but you need to explain the current project you are, you are working correct the last project whatever you are working that you need to explain now working in a company like on a single project there will be multiple developer working so what specific module you have worked okay you need to explain that module like this is the module i have worked in that uh, i have worked these these things i have used this this concept correct then when it comes to experience now they will ask you like uh, let's say scenario based also question will be there so like uh, if you are working and you need a particular uh, changes in the api how do you communicate so you can simply express if i need any api change i can impound to my ui lead then ui lead will connect to the api team or you can directly tell like api team is also reachable to us so we directly communicate with api team and i we explain the changes we need in the api so like this in uh, questions you also if you are already working you know if you need some changes in the api you directly communicate with the api team they will provide you the changes correct this kind of things again develop uh, deployment deployment is the question they will ask you like how do you deploy your application in which environment do you deploy so either you can say if you know how your application is deployed onto the server you can say whatever you know like it is aws azure do you have automatic build deployment whatever things you know but if you don't know now clearly say deployment we don't do it our manager or our tl do that so that question will get removed from your interview because if you don't know don't go and try to explain because if you if you try to answer that again question is going to come there so if you really don't know you can skip that question by simply saying we don't do the deployment our tl or manager do that that's it interviewer also uh, won't question you on that okay now again some question will be like testing who do the testing so first you do, first you need to tell initial unit testing we do we deploy the application on some environment to environment or day environment then we have a qa team they will test our application then they will raise the defect and then again we work on the defect once qa finalized the build means once qa tested the application they said it is okay then we deploy the application on the uat uat is the environment where client will test your application if you know all these things you should tell otherwise you can just tell them like qa test the application that's it you don't need to go on the uat thing and those who knows the uat thing once client approves the all the changes then it will go to the production then we start on the next things so these are the things you need to explain when you exp uh, when you are appearing for the interview now jira most of you might know like what is jira jira is just a ticketing tool which we use for project management now jira and the agile development these are related things so agile development is like for fresher it is optional okay for fresher if you don't know what is jira and what is uh, agile development it is okay but for experience it is strongly recommend that you should know jira you should know agile development like what are the terminologies we have to use in jira is just a project management tool it's a product okay so many products are like jira your company might be using uh, jira or any other product but in all the product you, we have the same thing now coming back to agile development like what is agile development you should be clear like what is agile development why do we have to use agile development when any soft when any project start now there are very uh, frameworks available you in engineering or in basic you might have understand uh, uh, software design pattern water flow 
then we have spiral then we have agile so nowadays everyone is working on the agile development so what is agile so in agile development we work on the sprint means uh, there is there are so many tickets on the project but we decide like two week sprint three week sprint one week sprint and in that week of sprint we take some tickets to work on so that we call as a sprint sprint links a certain amount of duration where we are going to take some tickets and on those tickets we are going to work then sprint review once the sprint end then we get uh, all the team get together and do a review like how did sprint work what are the things we achieve what went uh, what didn't go well just a normal thing then scrum call scrum call means the daily meetings we have so in this interview uh, in when it comes to the jira and uh, agile development they will ask you like do client appear in your scrum call means their question is does client is also present in your scrum call so again this is tricky if you know like a client is present in your scrum call you can simply say yes if you don't know like client is present or not you can simply say no okay so scrum call sprint review sprint planning meeting is there also before starting sprint we do the planning like what what tickets we are going to take discussions will also be there you will uh, go through all the tickets if you have any question you will ask the you will add that question in the jira ticket so so many things are there plus after jira and everything that they will ask you like what is jenkins how do you deploy application then now uh, coming to uh, coming back with angular so angular 17 questions will be there micro front end it's an architecture so not in detail but make sure you know like what is micro front end application plus react also now we i in the starting i told you right so even though we are an angular developer but they will ask you javascript why do they ask the javascript because current consider we have an angular project now but if this project get over next project we don't know it might be vue js or it might be react or anything but if you know the javascript with basic training you can work on any framework they will obviously they will provide you the training so that's why javascript make it very strong have some idea about react and vue like how react is different from angular and how vue is different for angular so in vue js it is also component in react also we have component in angular also we have component so in all these technologies now basic things are common just some topics are different our way of writing the code is different correct plus uh, in uh, with api development with uh, regarding api they won't ask you to develop the api but how do you what are how do you communicate with api team what is swagger postman this thing you should know like what is swagger most of the api team will have a swagger endpoint to check the api some api won't have the swagger the api team will create a document and they will share it to you like what is the what are the endpoints they have what is the input you need to send or they will directly communicate with you so just make sure you know the swagger and the postman okay so these are the various things you should be aware so uh, coming back to this site so either this or mini project ideas.com you can go to both same questions are there so many questions are there if we, even if we jump oh one more I, one more thing i have forgot let me just go to sorry js interview so here you will get to see so many programming question in js interview i have just categorized the question according to the some companies i have faced so so many programming questions are there see interview will start from javascript for experience i'm talking then they will ask some html then some css question or after javascript na, they will ask you program snippets this is very tricky and very important okay program snippets are very important because that will judge you on the javascript okay so so many questions i have already added so make sure you prepare those so many questions are there 
whatever me and my friends have uh, face that I have gathered and put it into my database, that same application you can get it over here. So many questions are there. So make sure you prepare this very well. Again, every time in interview, you will find some new questions, obviously. And whenever you are, doesn't matter how much you prepare, every time in interview, you will find some new questions. Obviously, there are going to be some new questions because every interviewer, every interviewer will have some of its own questions. Those are unique. They might be scenario based or they might be topics some you don't prepare. One more thing I forgot. In Angular for the interview, uh, for advanced interview, you need to have a knowledge of NGRX. Like, how do we use it in which scenario you have to use it? Then plus material also. If you know Bootstrap very well, but you need to have a material, material knowledge also. Like what is material framework? How do you use it? Prime NG, AG Grid. So many libraries are there, but actually, at least you should know Prime NG and AG Grid. Okay. So for experience, it's, it's a whole new thing. For pressure, you don't need to worry about Prime NG, AG Grid material. At least Bootstrap is enough. Okay. Plus, considering market situation, what extra thing you should do? Obviously, no is there. You should target job search on LinkedIn as well. Indeed. So these are the top searching platform we have. Make sure you have every information updated on each the platform. Uh, talking about LinkedIn, showcase your project, create your personal project, work on them, put the code in the GitHub, showcase all those things in the LinkedIn, correct? doesn't matter if you're working for the project, but make some project, uh, create some project of your own. Try to use the APIs, try to create the mock JSON, work on that. Okay. You need to, currently market is very stable. Market is very unstable. Sorry. Okay. So they are trying to hire a candidate who is very innovative, he, who knows all the various technologies. At least he knows Angular and React, not just Angular, he knows the React. If we hire the candidate, he can work on Angular also or the React also. In some case, learn, try to learn a backend technology, either .NET or Java. I will suggest .NET because .NET is easy, relative to, relative to Java. You It will take less time to understand. Correct? So try to a full stack developer because if we are on the main stack now, so we will have a less opportunities. If you are a full stack developer, obviously opportunity will get double. So try to work on all these scenarios, whatever we have discussed. Okay. So I hope this information was helpful to you. If you are new to here, please do like and subscribe.